I'm having a, a little bit of a hard time, obviously, but um, I guess I feel selfish sitting here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because, one, there's not a lot I can do. I could go there, um, but it's scary to want to go be a part of something like that because you could just wake up one morning and then mm -hmm. you could lose your life, and that's a very real possibility mm -hmm. in today's world, which saddens me, and I think that it's completely insane. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess um, going from you know, where we were for the last four years to now, it's very heartbreaking to me. And I um, I actually was so obsessed with Barack Obama that I stood in line um, when he was being elected, like before he was elected, and he was just campaigning. And I stood in line for hours, and I didn't make it to see him. And I oh. cried. I was 10 years old. I cried more than anything in the world and then I went up to him um, at the White House and I told him that story because oh. I later four years later got to kind of see him there because that was 2008 yeah um, and so going from that to this it's it's very heartbreaking to me um, and I think lives are being lost and I also think there's a lot of people in the world that truly need educated and like to all my peers and people my age I also want to tell them to remain educated remain mm -hmm. up on everything read 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 learn um, because that's what's going to save you mm -hmm. and honestly no matter what your beliefs are um, it just comes down in my opinion to being a human and compassionate mm -hmm. and kind to other people um, and just truly having love and that might sound cheesy because I feel like everybody kind of says that and just like yeah I love everyone but I genuinely mean having compassion for somebody and somebody other than yourself and somebody different than you because I mean just look at this room like there's just a beautiful array of people in this room in general like in just yeah. just here um, and there's just so many beautiful people in this world and I think if we kind of stop looking just at ourselves and remember that I don't think anything could possibly go wrong.